Welcome to November. So since this is the month of Thanksgiving, we are going to do a gratitude type of focus reading. Um, so number one, what are the general blessings that we're harvesting this month? Number two, what do I need to be grateful for in regards to health? career, finances, relationships, and then further um, from relationships, like how can I better express gratitude to others in my life? Um, we're going to look at what we should be thankful for in our love relationships or, you know, on our journey to finding those. And then how do I better express, you know, gratitude there as well? Um, looking at our spiritual and personal development path, what are the areas of um, thanks that we should be giving? there and then how do I better express gratitude to myself because you know hashtag self-care um, so this is gonna be a longer reading than usual for November but let's get started <laughs> hey Taurus welcome to November general blessings coming your way are balance like there's things that are good that are going to show up for you it's like your ship is coming in but it's coming from behind you you can't really see where it's coming from or how it's coming or even anticipate that it's coming except for that I just did the spoiler alert and I told you hey it's coming so if things are balanced be gra um, grateful for that express gratitude because they're just going to get better from here now things you should be grateful for in regards to your health this month they're saying hey good Good news. Whatever it was that was fucking you up before, it's getting better and it's getting better quicker than it had been. Um, this is a time where, so for example, let's say that you hurt your knee, okay, and you got a knee replacement surgery, and it's like all of a sudden in November, you're up and moving around and things are going quickly and you can like fly up and down the stairs and it's like, hey, I'm making these huge gains that I never expected to. So awesome. Good for you. Um, it's like all of a sudden, just boom, I can do new things that I wasn't able to do. This could be about like, all of a sudden I lost a bunch of weight and now I can do this activity that I never thought I could do before. Um, it could be, it's going to vary for everybody because it's a general reading. So it's not super specific, like in a personal one, but you should know where that's connecting for you intuitively when I mention it. Um, what are the blessings that are coming for us in career? And they're saying, everybody's just looking at you, like applauding you, like, bravo, you're doing a good job. We're, we're really appreciative. So you're going to be recognized this month in regards to career. Now, I don't know yet, um, cause finances are next, if that's going to help you financially, but it does look like people are applauding you and appreciating you. And so they're saying, you know, even, and I think this is where they're segueing from career to finances, because sometimes those are tied together and sometimes they're not. Um, but what they're saying is, you know, based on this, you can see that maybe good things are coming for you financially, even though they're not here yet. So maybe down the road, there will be a blessing in regards to that. Um, what should you be thankful for in regards to finances in November? They say a mindset shift, seeing things from a different perspective, getting super organized. So if you are able to sit down and really look at your budget, what your outgoing income is, what your, or, I'm sorry, what your outgoing spend is and what your income is and getting super specific about how you want to tally all that up, creating a budget for yourself, you will see huge improvements in your quality of life and that overall balance basically overnight. It's a really good plan for you guys. They're saying maybe it's not something that you've done historically, but um, somebody close to you knows how to do this and can help you do this and make you feel really good about it. So that could be a lover, that could be a friend, that could be a sibling, but there's it could even be your accountant. But there's somebody out there that can um, really help you with this and create massive... Um, like positive juju and good sentiment about like your financial trajectory moving forward. Um, if you're, if you really sit down and try to do this and organize it all. Okay. Um, as far as relationships go, like non romantic relationships. So that would be like relationships with colleagues, friends, family, they're saying you might not really be feeling it right now in November. You might be wanting to spend a little bit of time alone. And they're saying, you know, it it doesn't mean that you don't care about those people, but it does mean that you need to tell them that, like, hey, I really care about you. I really treasure our friendship, but I need a little bit of me time this month. If you're able to say that, then they're not going to be hurt, but otherwise they're going to be like, oh, fuck. So-and-so is mad at me. Um, oh, man, the last time they kind of just, like, fell off, 
Um, they didn't talk to me for a long time and it turns out they were mad for whatever reason. And they're like, you want it to be different this time than whatever assumptions they came up with last time. And sure, it's not your problem that other people assume things. It's not on you to monitor how they feel. You're not responsible for their feelings, but you can prevent, um, any sort of discomfort or argument later by just letting people know. Okay, so I mean, even if you don't want to respond to your text messages, just be like, hey, sorry, um, when your friend calls and you don't answer because you just don't feel like it, like, hey, it's not about you. I just need some alone time. I love you very much. Thanks for calling. I'll call you when I'm feeling better. Whatever. They're saying, um, but don't delay in doing that. Like, don't delay in getting back to people because that could really harm your relationships down the road. Now, um, in romantic relationships, if you are single, they're saying, let's start thinking about things from a different lens. Let's start thinking about what does love truly mean? What does it mean to be overflowing with love and happiness for somebody um, instead of focusing on what it is we don't want in a partner? So let's say, for example, you make a dating profile and you're like, hey, I don't want this, 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 this. You make a list of the qualities you don't want in a partner. Um, it's a lot more appealing if you make a list of the things that you do want uh, because not only does it tell people like, hey, you're not a negative Nancy, but it also is saying like, these are my values. And so then it's easier for the right person to connect with you. Now, sure, it's possible they might be lying because they want to hit it, but you'll be able to see right through that. You'll be able to see who's being honest and who isn't and who has shared values in mind. Now, if you're just happy being single and you don't want to couple up, they're like, what's this anxiety that you have about then? Um, they're saying like, let's be honest with ourselves that we're having a hard time letting go of something from the past and that's the reason you want to be single. Um, and it's not because you actually just want to be single. Now is a Mercury retrograde, so it's a good time to kind of purge that energy and think about it, even if it takes a long ass time. And for some of you, it's going to take a really long time because you're refusing to look at this honestly and truthfully and do the work. Now, for those of you who are in relationships, what's up? And they say, um, this is not a good month to be communicating with your partner about like the ways that you're going to be spending things. This is just a good month to be kind of cozy at home, cuddly, kind of in your feelings, but being appreciative that things are balanced, like being in a routine is a good thing and blessings come from that. And so they're saying um, there are things that you can't really see yet, but they'll pop up and be awesome for you. So how do you express gratitude to your partner for being a big part of your life? And they're like, when things, um, like, okay, so they're saying like your emotions, you can't bottle them up even if they're tumultuous, by just saying, hey, here's how I'm feeling, that makes your partner feel cared about and trusted and significant um, because you're taking the time to share those things with them. This is what's going to create a lot more harmony in your life and better balance in the relationship. And like I said, blessings are going to come from that. Now, um, in your spiritual journey or your personal um development kind of journey what are, what should we be thankful for in november and they're saying what you give to any situation you'll be getting back so i can't remember who had this i feel like it maybe it was virgo it was another earth sign that it was like whatever kind of efforts you put in this month you get back um to, up to time six and so they say better balance here better emotional balance we have better um control over our feelings and the difference between what we're thinking and what is actually true for how we're feeling. And we're able to kind of manipulate our environment and our sentiments a little bit better in a healthy way. So what they're saying is whatever kind of efforts I put into my own personal growth or into my prayer or my spiritual rituals, like they will come back to me a lot more than usual in the month of November. So that's awesome. Anything else that Taurus needs to know? They're just saying you might not be feeling like super amazing. Like you know, you don't feel like Beyonce when do you walk into the room, but they're like, um, why? Why not? <laughs> they're like, you know, the place that you are right now is pretty fantastic. You have a lot of knowledge. You have a lot of opinions. You have a lot of wisdom and maturity that you've earned over the years. And so 
maybe you should be proud of that. Maybe you should be showing people that you're proud of that. But they also say like you also need a little bit more rest this month. Some of you aren't getting enough sleep. And then, um, you know, when other people are applauding you, when other people are celebrating you, um, when they give you a simple compliment or when they're like, hey, great job, you know, at, in the workplace, like they said they would be, you should be like, thank you, instead of rejecting that. Because if you're not allowing other people to tell you you're amazing, how are you ever going to believe that about yourself? And the more that you hear it from other people and you accept it, the more you'll accept it for yourself. Okay? I love you so much. I'll see you in December.